In today's show, we find out about the Freshman Podcast Unit. Juniors take the ACT tomorrow, and we have more information about the schedule. And Jake's back with another review. I'm Kylie. And I'm Quinn. And this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Currently, ninth graders are working on their podcast unit. Let's go see what they have in stock. Ninth graders recently worked on a podcasting unit to learn more about writing and research. My podcast was about sex trafficking in Kansas and how to prevent it and signs of sex trafficking. We chose it because it was like important for people to know what's going on in Kansas these days. Uh, I learned that like there is cases of can or of sex trafficking in Kansas and it's like a real thing that happens to people and it should probably be prevented. I thought it was pretty fun. I didn't have any troubles with finding sound effects or anything. The sound effects were actually pretty fun to put together. SHS ninth graders still carry their experience from this project with them. What I learned from a, the podcast is how to organize information where I can like effectively give a story out to people and give them information on how they should take it the best, I guess. I think the podcast should be more than ninth grade. I think it should be more if for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders if they want to continue in things such as, uh, like, if they want to make, like, YouTube videos or be in that field. I think that podcast making is, like, a really good tool to use since it's uh, only you can use audio, so you have to really prioritize what you need. Teachers saw their students grow as they made their podcasts. We enter all of the podcasts into the National Public Radio Station's uh, Student Podcast Challenge, NPR, and it's a really exciting opportunity for students to have judges listen to their podcast and evaluate based on information and structure, creativity and personality, and sound production, whether uh, they've really put in a lot of effort. And it's just a good way to incorporate some authentic audience. Make sure to go view some podcasts. Seniors, if you received a scholarship, please stop by the counselor's office and let Mrs. Conley know. Autumn wants to go learn more about the ACT tomorrow. Hey Vikes, tomorrow is the ACT and I'm here with Ms. Welch to tell us some more information. Right, so students who have registered for the ACT tomorrow need to arrive in the counselor's code between 7.30 and 7.45. We will check you in and give you your room assignment and you'll go directly to the ninth grade hallway and find your room. You need to be in place before the 7.55 tardy bell rings or else you just have to go to regular class. And don't forget to bring your calculator and sharpen number two pencils. Okay, thank you. Make sure you get here on time. Good luck on your ACTs. Remember to go to the right classroom on time. Kiss the Pig contest runs throughout the 28th. The teacher who raises the most money will be saved from kissing the pig. All proceeds benefit SCARS. If you want to keep your laptop over the break, please see Mrs. Simons in C4 by March 5th. Starting today, law enforcement presence around the schools occur. Remember to buckle in. Now on to Kylie with sports after this quick commercial break. I'm Peppa Pig. Kiss Pig, hug the swine. Some of them are good friends of mine. I'm especially prone to those Poland China porkers. I'm old fun and a dog and smarter than a horse. And you might find them a little coarse, but shoot, ain't near as rude as some New Yorkers. Ba, ba, ba. I'm loving it. Today at 1.15, Tegan Loy and Chase Moorstorff will sign a letter of intent to run track at the University of St. Mary's. Congrats. Tomorrow's game theme is read out. There will be an information meeting and sign up for baseball tryouts tomorrow at 3.15 in the Commons. There will also be an informational meeting this Wednesday in room 902 at 6.37 a.m. for anyone interested in playing softball this spring. Spring sports begin March 2nd. You must have a completed physical and concussion form on file before tryouts start. The Seaman wrestling team had 10 people qualify for state this weekend. Good job, Bikes. Now let's go to Josh to find out if this rain will continue.
Good afternoon. We had some rain this morning, but for the rest of the day, it's tapering out to a drizzle. So just a 30 percent chance this afternoon and then a 20 percent chance overnight of some lingering drizzle. We're not expecting much in the way of measurable, measurable precipitation for today. Then tomorrow our chances ramp back up, but it's a different precipitation type. We're talking about a mix of rain and snow for the morning and afternoon. And then we should end with all snow for Tuesday evening. So let's time it out for you with our future radar starting the clock here at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can see a band of precipitation stretching from north central to east central Kansas. And this is going to be a mixture, whoa, of some rain and snow. So there it is in the morning. We could catch some breaks throughout the day. And then another round is possible by tomorrow evening. Again, it should be all snow as our temperatures cool off around sunset. So here's what we're looking at. We're giving it the yellow light out on the road tomorrow. Take it slow. Rain and snow showers possible. Temperatures in the 30s. So not below freezing for most of the day. That's going to melt a lot of the snow. So we're only thinking a trace to one inch of accumulation for tomorrow. And checking out the seven day forecast, you can see after the rain today and snow tomorrow, we turn very cold for the middle of the week. Wind chills will be in the teens and 20s Wednesday morning. And then check that out, rebounding into the 50s by the upcoming weekend once again. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. Jake went out to get people's opinions on the new hit Netflix show, The Witcher. Let's go see what people had to say. Hey Vikes, welcome back to Jake's Movie Reviews, where today we'll be talking about The Witcher. The Witcher is based off the book series written by Andrzej Sapkowski and the game series released a couple years ago. The Witcher was a hit Netflix TV show which was re released on December 20th for season 1, which has been rated very good so far. The first season had 8 episodes in total, with the first season following Monster Hunter Geralt of Rivia, where he is located on a landmass known as the Continent. Geralt is a witcher and kills the monsters for a coin. The land is in turmoil since the empire of Nilfgaard is trying to build its empire. He must save Princess Sintra as they are destined to be together. Season 1 was a huge success with having a 92% audience rating and having millions of viewers turn into each episode. Let's go see other people's thoughts on The Witcher so far. I started watching The Witcher because I feel like all Netflix originals were pretty good and it came up on my like recommended for you. I really liked The Witcher. I watched it in like two days because I thought it was really good. I liked it. I thought it was like a new age version of Game of Thrones but with a little bit more of a mythological feel to it. Um, had a pretty good storyline. Was not happy there was only eight episodes. Thought it should have gone longer, but apparently there's going to be a new season and it's going to have a higher budget um, and they already started on it, so I'm excited. I think I don't like Siri just because she's kind of annoying throughout the entire thing and she's one of the main characters, but Loki, she's just super annoying, so she's my least favorite. Favorite part was kind of seeing how the timelines connected to into each other, um, but there was a lot of different year gaps that kind of got a jump, so it was hard to pay attention to at times. Watch it if you haven't, um, but you know, maybe wait a little bit so that way season two can come out so you don't get really mad after watching eight episodes and then have to wait. If you enjoyed Game of Thrones, I would definitely recommend this series to you. I'd overall give this a four out of five Jakes, and I'll see you next time as we do Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. That was interesting. Thanks, Jake. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Tomorrow we'll have a story on Skylar Price's signing. Have a great day, Bikes.